Another day, another kit release. This one should be interesting. If you missed it, there's gonna be two new kits coming out today for The Sims 4. They are both fashion kits, and I've got a lot of opinions about these. I think, first and foremost, I should say, I don't really care about fashion kits in The Sims 4. I also don't really like the idea of kits at all in The Sims 4. Both of these kits are $5, and they each just come with some clothes. I guess some accessories too, but like, you get the point. Five bucks for some clothes feels a little bit steep to me, and that's 10 bucks today just on clothing for your sims. That just adds up so fast, and obviously these things are not intended for everyone to want to buy them. Like, if I was not a YouTuber, I would not be buying these today. Mostly because I spend most of my time in the sims building, so like, the build kits are way more appealing to me. But you might be the opposite, you might care way more about Cass, and this is right up your alley. So, with that preface being said, I'm gonna buy them. They do give us codes for the kits, but they usually come out like, way later, and I want them now, so I'm gonna pay for them. They also haven't like, posted anywhere about the kits being out, but they are out. They came out 11 minutes ago. And here's the weird thing. These kits, all of the artwork they've shown about them has been drawings. So there are a couple screenshots, so we can see a couple things. This is the first one, but most of the teasers they posted have just been of drawings, which in my opinion is kind of weird. Okay, I bought the first one. The next one is the Fashion Street Kit. Okay, so while those download, I'm going to show you the teasers they posted. We had this one first. This was like the original announcement. Ready to expand your Sims wardrobe? From sleek to colorful styles, discover border-defying clothes, patterns, and accessories with the new Fashion Street Kit and Inch and Arrivals Kit. So this one is very inspired by like Korean fashion, in particular like Korean airport fashion, which is really cool. Like I kind of love this idea. And then this one is more Indian style, in particular Mumbai. And they worked with two real life fashion designers from both of these places to like design the kits and the clothes in them. And they made these like video interviews and these blog post, so I'll link all that down below if you want to read more about like the backstory of the kits. And I'm gonna be honest, I really like that idea. Like what a cool time to work with like a real designer to make some really interesting clothes for The Sims. And then also to like talk about it and teach people about it, because you might not know much about either of these fashion styles, and it's kind of a fun way to like expose you to it, and if you're interested in it, then hey, double win. <laughs> I always feel a little bit wary about EA like selling culture, especially when there isn't like an adequate amount in the base game. But on the day of the update when they announced this, they gave us a few new hairs and some clothing, and I feel like that's a good happy medium. Like, hey, we're giving you some stuff for free, but if you want some more, we have this cool kit and this cool designer we worked with. Like, I just, I feel a little bit better about this than when I first heard it announced. Like, when I first heard about it, I was like, oh, I don't know about her. But now that they've, like, explained it more and give us some more information, I feel a lot better about it. I still don't think I would buy them if I wasn't a YouTuber, but the existence of kits as a whole is a whole other issue. <laughs> That is a separate problem for a separate day. But let's open the game and check these out. I'm curious to hear all of your thoughts in the comments, like if any of you will actually buy these. And again, I, this is heavily influenced by me being like a builder in The Sims. Like I, I would buy pretty much any build kit they release. I just don't really care about the cast stuff that much. And like, I can acknowledge that for example, the previous throwback fit kit had some super cute stuff in it, but it's just not a thing that I would prioritize spending my money on. And same with these, I and all of the kits in general, I would so highly recommend recommend that you spend your money on like a different pack. If you're gonna spend $10 on packs today, get a stuff pack. <laughs> get an older stuff pack, you're gonna get gameplay and build stuff, like, I just feel like that's way more worth it, just as far as, like, actual gameplay goes, unless you're, like, super into both of these, you know? So the Sims 4 Fashion Street Kit. This stuff actually looks really nice. I'm- I'm not dissing it like that. Like, we know it's gonna be good quality. It's just, like, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Bright, flowy fabrics and contemporary cuts guarantee stunning streetwear looks for every Sim. Each piece works alone or integrated into an existing closet for effortless style. What would an outfit be without accessories? Bangles, sparkly necklaces, and flash rings catch the eye while sandals finish it off with laid-back flair. Express your style with henna tattoos and fun sunglasses too. I, I always like reading their little descriptors. They're always pretty good, I think. Oh, this one has two screenshots, but the other one only had one. Interesting. <laughs> Mix and match. Dress for any occasion with both semi-formal and casual pieces. Blazers, coats, jackets, and cardigans pair neatly with loose-fitting skirts, sweatpants, slacks, and pants topped off with sneakers or heeled boots. Structured oversized pieces combined with flowy materials for a study in contrast. Find comfort in baggy silhouettes and understated details like a high waist and half tucked shirts. I think I'm gonna love this one, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I've been playing with this Sim Polly in my legacy challenge on Twitch for a while and she just died, <laughs> so I might use her as our model today because I miss her. I'm sorry, I know that's dumb. I just, I'm, um, I'm mourning the loss of my bestie, so. All right, let's look at the Inch and Arrivals kit first. So we have this top, let me take off her other clothes actually too, sorry. This top, like, cropped blazer. I'm gonna be honest, 
this is really nice, and the swatches are really nice, and they have changed my mind about the kit. <laughs> no, I still don't like that they cost five dollars, but I, like I said, I will acknowledge that they have some really cute stuff in them. I can have these two opinions simultaneously. Oh, I just got a notification that they sent out the codes. <laughs> if I had waited like 10 more minutes, I could have got the packs for free. It's fine. I can do a giveaway of the codes they give me now. I'll do that on Twitch tonight, probably. I love this pink one. That's so cute. Okay, we also have this oversized hoodie. We don't have like anything like this. For some reason, I don't know why, but we don't have like any oversized hoodies in The Sims 4. You'd think we'd have more, but we don't. I'm also obsessed with that light purple color. That's so pretty. Oh, I really like that. Blazer with the turtleneck. Okay. Oh, these are nice. Oh, I love that green. And then we have this top as well. Ooh, I love the baggy sleeves. This feels really different from a lot of the things we have in The Sims 4. Like this looks very different from most of what we have right now. So I'm I'm pretty excited about this too. I feel like both of these two are, are items we kind of have similar things to, but these two are, are pretty out there compared to most of our current stuff. So I, I'm pleased. I also just like it. Like the patterns are so nice. It's so confusing how all the kits are like together in one place as well. Like these are all throwback fit kits. And then the bottom ones are from this new kit. Ooh, wait, I love how these pants are like oversized and a little bit baggy at the feet. Like they're intentionally a little bit long. That's cool. We don't have anything like that. Okay. I love the skirt with the, the details on the buckles as well, or buckles, whatever you would call, you know, that stuff. <laughs> whatever that is. I like the detail on it. Ooh, and it matches. Yeah, I like, I like the plaid detail in that too. That's really cute. Then we have a long pleated skirt, high-waisted. These are really nice neutrals as well. The swatch on these are all really good. Sometimes The Sims goes with some kind of like wacky bright colors on things. Like they'll have like maybe two muted ones and then like six hot pinks and one of them zebra, which is always fun, but it's also nice to have a good collection of like basics. Like this could be worn in so many different ways. And that's kind of the intention, right? Is to like mix and match all these pieces together, but I like it. Oh, some sweatpants. Okay. I like it. I like it. And then we have some like baggier jeans too. These are obviously like built for the masculine frame, these bottom two at least. You can tell because like the crotch looks a little bit weird. This happens a lot when The Sims converts things from like feminine to masculine and vice versa. Like they get like weird pointy bits on the shoulders and like the crotch looks weird and their hips kind of are off, but it's nice to have the option. And these look okay, but you know, wear a big hoodie and it's fine. <laughs> oh my God, those are so beautiful. I'm so excited to see them. Okay, so this kit also came with two full body outfits. That is stunning. I genuinely am obsessed with this one. I think this is so pretty. I also am happy to have like any cold weather type outfits, like more coats, because we kind of are lacking in that department. I, I love that with the black. That's so nice. And then we have this sweater and skirt combo. I would wear this if I didn't live in Florida. <laughs> Caveat, I live in Orlando. So good luck wearing this, but I, I would wear this. I think this is beautiful. I love the like tucked in. I just, this is so cute. Oh, the purple and the blue ones are my favorite. I like the yellow turtleneck with that. They did a good job with the swatches on these. I'm impressed. Okay, so this kit comes with three pairs of shoes. We have a couple different sneakers. Look at the pink and purple ones. Okay, a couple different sneakers. Oh, I love those. They're so cute. That's kind of camo. Okay. Yeah, there's some really nice like solid white, black and white, good gray ones, like some really good basics, but also some like pretty fun shoes in different colors. I appreciate that. And then we have these awesome boots. Let me put some shorter pants on her so we can see it better. <laughs> and then I pick a longer skirt, hang on. I like these. We don't really have much like this either to be honest with you. So I'll take it. Okay, let me look at the other clothing. If there's any extra on masculine Sims, let's find out quickly. Okay, so there's three. We have this sweater. I love a good cardigan. You know it. Ooh, the blue's nice. Jacket with the hoodie. Okay. Oh, I really like these. And I like this muted pink they keep giving us. That's so pretty. Oh, that one too. I like that one a lot. All right. And then we have this like fuzzier coat as well. Again, always down for more like outerwear type stuff. Look at the pink. Oh, I keep getting excited about the pink. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. And then this this kit, we have those same pants with like the longer fit to them. Those fit really well on both masculine and feminine frame sims. Then we have these pants with like a longer belt and some ripped knees, the skirt, the sweatpants, and then these jeans. Oh, those fit really well on him. I like that. Okay, and then full body, we have two. We have this one. Oh, <gasps> that is amazing. The silhouettes of all of these items are really good. I'm always impressed by the detail on like the clothes that we get currently, because if this had come out when The Sims 4 first came out, I could almost guarantee you that like like these ties in the back would be like flat. <laughs> so I'm always excited. I know that's like a bare minimum kind of thing to be excited about, but I always like am impressed with the, the way that the clothes look these days. They've really gotten good at cast in The Sims 4. Ooh. 
Oh, I like this. And then we have this one too. Oh, I like that one. That's fun combos. Okay, I'm impressed with this kit. Still unsure about the price tag, but the stuff in it is high quality. I mean, I'm I'm super into it. Oh my god, I was just scrolling through to like get a sim to test the other ones on. Hello? <laughs> what? What's happening here? Okay, let's look at the Fashion Street kit then. So there's two tops. We have this one. Ooh, I love how shiny it is. I'm really impressed with the texture on that. Oh wow, I love that pink one. I, can you tell I keep getting excited about pink swatches today? I'm like, ooh, pink. I gotta stop. There are a lot of really nice swatches, not just the pink ones, Kayla. Oh, I love the detail on this one too. These are really fun. I'm so happy with the color scheme they've chosen as well. Oh, I love that one. Okay. Okay, and then for bottoms, there's three bottoms from this kit. It's starting to feel like there's a lot more in the other one, but it might be because there's like more varied types of items. There's like a lot of pants from the first one, but this one has like some accessories too. So we'll see how it goes. I love the swatches on all of these things. And again, I'm very impressed with like the silhouette, the cut of these pants is really nice. We have these too. Look at how nice that is. Okay. Can I see? Is there any more detail at the waist? Oh yeah. I was covering it up. <laughs> I had a long shirt on. I love that they're high-waisted. That's so pretty. And the little buttons on the side as well. I, these are nice. And I like how shiny they are. It's because it's like a nice shine, but like a Max's match shine. Like it still looks like it belongs in the game, but it's also like a nice pretty texture. I'm impressed with that. Okay. And then we have this skirt as well. Oh, that swatch is beautiful. This one pink. I'm not going to say it, but you know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty. No, okay, this one I think is my favorite skirt. I really, really, really like these. These are amazing swatches. I'm so impressed with the patterns on this. That looks awesome. Okay, and then full body outfits. We have three. Okay, so we have this one. Also incredible. I'm so excited about these. I think these are actually really nice. Again, the price tag may be a little bit too high, but this stuff does look awesome. Like, look at this one. Oh, I like that yellow swatch. That is a really pretty shade of yellow as well. Oh, and that purple is really nice. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. The texture is stunning. Look at this, like this sequence. Look at this, look at this texture up here. That looks amazing. Oh wow, this one is really beautiful. The detail on that and like how the fabric lays as well. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. I literally just got a DM from Jessie. I'm impressed with the kit so far. She said, <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, these are nice. This one's my favorite item. This one is my favorite item. I like this a lot. This is so beautiful. Like the detail with the sheer at the top as well. Like how cool. That's just amazing. Okay, let me put her in a different outfit so that we can see the other stuff. This one has two pairs of shoes. There's two different sandals. I'm always down for more sandals in this game too. I think that we are kind of lacking in that front. And these are good. These are really good swatches on them. They're nice sandals and we got two options. Okay, yeah, I like those. We do have some bracelets. Oh, so many swatches, okay. I wish I could zoom in more easily. If I look at the, yeah, if we go to the fingernail section, we can see them up close. Those are really pretty. Oh, the gold ones. And they did a good job with making a lot of swatches on this as well. So it sort of matches everything. I appreciate that. Okay, that's the only accessory for like lower body. There is a tattoo, they added some henna. Oh, and a bunch of different swatches as well. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised with that. You can't filter tattoos by pack, but <laughs> there are two of them. There's one for each hand. It looks like they're the same, but on both sides. And then I think there's a couple more accessories. Yes. Oh, that's more than I was expecting. There's four. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. They've really stepped up their jewelry game recently. Have you noticed that? Like in all the packs, like Cottage Living had so many more earrings. They used to add like maybe one. Someone just set off a firework and it's 1.37 p.m. My neighbors are literally in the driveway with fireworks. It's 1.37 p.m. Okay. Anyway, we used to get like no jewelry ever, but they've added a lot more recently. Okay, her hair is a little bit in the way for these earrings. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so we have these new earrings as well. Oh my God, those are amazing. I love that gold one. I think that's really pretty. Okay, we have some glasses too. Huh? Oh, I like glitched for a second. Look at the swatches on these. This is so fun. They gave like some pretty neutral ones, like a gold one. There's a black one. And then there's this. These are so cool. Oh, I like that one best, I think. Hmm. It seems to be clipping with her hair a tiny bit. Do all glasses do that? <laughs> They might all do that. Okay, and then we also have this necklace. Okay, I'm really impressed. Let's look at them on masculine framed sims. Okay, he has two tops as well. Also, it looks like the same henna. Okay, this is pretty. The swatches, I keep saying the swatches are nice, but I really like the swatches on these. <laughs> and then we have this top. And the detail, like the texture on that chain, that's not just flat. If they had made this in like 2016, that chain would be painted on, but it's not. It's like hanging off his shirt a little bit. Oh. Okay, this is beautiful. Bottoms, we have three as well. Okay, so we have these. Oh, they come with the shoes. Okay, here's an example of what I mean by the like flat textures. Did you see how the tie on this is like painted on? And then you compare it to that shirt we were looking at. Oh, I didn't look at this one, did I? <laughs> There's three shirts in this kit. But you see how the necklace is like off. 
right? That's that's a 3D texture. You can see it in the back with the, the knot. The tie on the pants is just painted on. And that's why I'm always impressed when they do like cool things that are three dimensional. Like these pants are 50-50. <laughs> they did both on these. I like these two though. Those are really nice. Okay, and then full body outfits. We have three of them as well. We have this one. Ooh. Look at the pig swatch. <laughs> I love it. We have this one. I love this swatch on it too. That's so nice. And then we have this one. We have a couple shoes, the same from before that we looked at. No separate accessories, but we do have the same piercings and the same glasses. There's not any like hairs with either of these kits. They're only fashion kits. And I do not believe that any children got any items. It's only for adults. So let's talk about this. <laughs> I love the items in these kits. I think they are amazing. They are super well done. I love that they had a real designer to work with on it. Like I just, I think these kits are really, really good. My issue is with kits. <laughs> not these kits, you know? Like, I just know that I don't care about fashion kits. I will probably never care about a fashion kit for The Sims 4. I also find it really weird that the kit's cover art is drawings. Like, all the other ones are, are in-game, like, renders. I really liked the first three. I think those were really cool. Then they had, like, more just a screenshot for the Industrial Loft kit and the Courtyard Oasis kit. And now we've gone to these two that just have drawings. And I like the drawings. Like, they're really cute. I like the art style, but I don't think I like the art style as, like, a cover for the kit. It looks like fan art. Good fan art. Like, not, not as a, I don't mean that as, like, a negative thing, because they're really well done and, like, they're beautiful to look at, but it's just, like, why, why is that the cover? I get it as a teaser, but, like, put a real render is the cover. Show me the real stuff that's in the pack. Because those items they're wearing are in the kit, but why is it a drawing? <laughs> I don't get it. Is it because we don't have airports in The Sims 4? I don't know. <laughs> okay, but as far as items go, there's 22 in this one and 26 in the other. The throwback fit kit had 23 for comparison, but a couple of those were just like the same hat for a toddler and a child, so doesn't count as much. So I don't think they're like ripping you off. Like that's the pretty much established size of a fashion kit, it seems like. I mean, well, <laughs> they're, they're the second and third, so I suppose these are the establishing sizes. They've now shown us what the size is gonna be. I just compare that to like a stuff pack similar to Paranormal. This one, 32 create a sim items. Some of that being hairs, but this is for like every single age group, 39 build items, and a career, and a new lot type. So like this stuff pack in comparison to these kits is like six times the size and it's only double the price. And that's why I feel a little bit like about the kits. If the kits were like $3, maybe I'd feel different, but the five, the five just, oh, it hurts. So anyway, at the end of the day, I think they're good kits. For a kit, they're worth the price. Like when you compare them to the other kits and the other content that comes in kits, they're not like a bad kit, you know? But this is very much for people who are super into this niche. Like if you love to make Sims and you don't have any CC and you for some reason don't want any CC or you're stuck on console and you can't get it, this might be a good fit for you, but I personally probably wouldn't buy these, but I also probably wouldn't buy most of them. <laughs> I'd probably buy the Courtyard Oasis kit, the Country Kitchen kit, and the Industrial Loft kit. And that is just because I like to build. So you might feel differently. And that's okay. That's kind of the whole point of kits. They did tease a couple more kits that are supposed to come out soon on that teaser post from a couple weeks ago. I talked about that in a video, so I'll link it down below. I also in that video showed off the interviews they did with the designers of these kits. So I can link that for you as well. And like all the information, the blog posts, all that I'll have listed for you if you want to read more about them. And I'm curious in the comments, tell me about your thoughts. I think that pretty collectively we're all like, I don't like kits. But then we also still kind of buy them. I mean, I just bought them. So I feel like I know we're all kind of on the same page with this, like, nah, I don't know about the existence of kits. Like I can simultaneously love the items and also wish that the pack didn't exist. The whole pack category didn't exist. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll see where kits go in the future. I kind of hope that they don't keep doing the drawing thing for the covers, but I don't know. I don't know what they're doing over there at EA. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. <laughs> They are really beautiful though. Like the clothes in these kits are so nice. They're like really well done. I think we can all agree on that. They are really pretty.